Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Garrett here and welcome back to another Insta Shred lesson where I teach you how to play some of your favorite licks and leads. If you've been enjoying this lesson series or this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any of these free lessons. Today we got Amaranth, Amaranthine solo and uh, I think this is a fun little solo. It's got some really unique bends and vibrato that make it sound really good. Really easy lines, uh, some quick picking though as well. If you're a more advanced student and you want the slow playthrough without me talking about every single note, you can just go to this timestamp right here. Also, if you're one of my Skype students working on ear training, you can also click that link as well. If you're interested in becoming one of my Skype students, be sure to send me an email. I got that listed in the description below. And uh, we can go over any song you'd like and any solo and go more in depth on the technique. Uh, but for now, let's get to this Amaranth solo. All right, so right off the bat, this solo starts off with this nice big slide on the low E string. And basically what I'm doing is I kind of like to go uh, up a little bit first before going down uh, because it's such a long slide that I don't want to run out of room. So that makes it a little bit easier. Uh, from there, you're going to take your third finger and place it on the B string, the 10th fret, and give it a half step bend and some vibrato. Then you're going to slide up to 11 and pull off the 10 and pick 11 and give it some more vibrato. From there, you're going to go to the 6th fret of the high string. And then you're going to play 8 as well, but 8 is going to be more staccato, so it's going to be cut kind of short. It's not just going to be... It's going to be... And what I'm doing to mute the string is I'm actually just taking the knife hand here, like my palm muting part, and I'm actually just like kind of slamming it onto the strings right here to silence the string. And that gives it that nice choppy sound. From the staccato note, I'm then going to take that same 8th fret and give it a full step bend. From there, I'm going to tap 9, slide up to 11, and then I'm going to pull off on 11 with my tapping hand, and then I'm going to release the bend, and then I'm going to pull off the 6, and then I'm going to pick 8 and give it some vibrato. So all together, once again. From there, I'm going to take my first finger on the 6th fret of the high E string. I'm going to pick it and slide down to 5. Then I'm going to play 8 with my pinky on the B string. And then I'm going to do this pattern. It's going to happen a couple times here. It's going to be 6, 5, 6, 5. And I'm going to play a note afterwards. The first note is going to be with my middle finger on the 6th fret of the B string. And then it's going to be the same pattern again. And I'm going to play 4. So all together. Now that I switched positions, I'm actually going to do the same pattern, 6-5-6-5, six, five, six, five, but instead of doing it with my middle and my first finger, I'm actually just going to do it with my third and my second finger. And then I have to play four again. So all together, one more time. Next lick right here, it's going to pick a three on the B string, hammer on to four, and pull off to three. Then I'm going to jump into G string, fifth fret, Pull off the three, slide down to two, and then pull off to open. From there, I'm going to hammer on to two of the same G string, hammer on to three, and hammer on to five. This is hard to do kind of slow, but it's good to practice it this way because when it comes time to full speed, you want to be doing the same thing. So don't give it any extra picks. It'll be easier at full speed too because your, your note won't have to ring out as long. So try it like this. helps to give that fifth fret G string a little bit of a harder pick stroke. And then you're going to jump to the B string, third fret, pick it, hammer on the four, slide up to six, pick six on the high string, and back to six on the B string. And as he's done before, give it some more vibrato. So again, that lick one more time. The next part of the solo has a nice big stretch starting from the 6th fret of the B string. You're going to stretch all the way up to 11. You're going to pick both notes, and then you're going to pull off to 8 and pull off to 6. From there, you're going to play 7 of the G string, followed by 6 and 8 of the B string, and 6 and 8 of the E string. So the 8th fret is going to get a full step bend. So all together. From there, you're going to release the bend, 
Back to pitch, pull off to six, and pick eight. And of course, give it some vibrato. After that, we're going to switch to our neck position, and we're going to slide up to 13 on the B string and play six, 15 and 16 as well. Jumping over to the high E string, 13, 15, 17. Then you're going to pick 17 one more time. Even though you already picked it, you're going to pick it a second time right before going into the half step bend. Give it a nice vibrato. The next part seems like an alternate picking part, but it actually has a little bit of some legato in there as well. What we're going to do at first is we're going to slide up with our first finger onto the 15th fret of the D string. And we're actually going to hammer on to 17 and 19 for the first three notes. Then I'm going to pick the same notes on the string above it. 15, 17, 19. So. And once I start alternate picking here, the alternate picking continues on to the next string. So I'm going to play 16, 18, 20. Then on the high E string, 17, 18, 20. So all together. And don't forget to give it some vibrato at the end. Then I'm actually, since I'm already on the 20th fret, I'm actually going to switch to my third finger and do the same fret, but give it a full step bend. Then I'm going to release it to pitch, pull off to 18, and then pick 20 again and give it some more vibrato. So all together. Then I'm going to play, take my middle finger, place it on the 18th fret of the E string, pull off to 17, Play 20 on the B string and give it some vibrato. And that's the end of it. So the whole last half. And that is the solo to Amaranth theme. There you guys have it. Thanks again so much for checking out this video. I hope you guys are enjoying this lesson series. Let me know if you are in the comment section below. And um, yeah, if this is your first time here on my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in another video, okay? See you guys.